Okay, Mr. Skeleton. All right, here we go. We're ready. I think, hopefully. Hey everyone, it is another day Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. He's back. It is so good to see you, sir. We're waiting at a train, so don't be alarmed if I look over at him. We've got nowhere to go. Nothing to see right now. Uh, but Mr. Skeleton, how are you doing, sir? Did you miss me? <laughs> But he looks excited <laughs> to be out Halloween decor hunting. So and if you missed it, well, first of all, if you're new here, welcome to the spooky family. We're excited to have you. Uh, but if you missed it, Mr. Skeleton lost his arms during Halloween decor hunting season. That is how intense it got. <laughs> Actually, I just broke him off. I feel really bad about it. Hold on, Mr. Skeleton. We got the railroad tracks. Hold on to your bones, sir. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, so anyways, what are we doing today, Mr. Skeleton? I love it that I can now talk to myself and feel less alone in the process. <laughs> okay, anyways, what are we doing today, Mr. Skeleton? We are going Halloween decor hunting for our Halloween tree, which is like our half spooky. It's kind of like our pastel goth slash. Oh, my gosh, there's a dog looking right at me right now. Oh, my gosh. 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 Hurry, 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 hurry dogs of Halloween decor hunting. He's pretending he wasn't looking at me. Y'all, dogs of Halloween decor hunting already in full effect. So anyway, we are shopping for some Valentine's Day decorations for our Halloween tree, which is our half spooky, half Valentine's Day tree, which is basically just our way of procrastinating on taking down our Christmas tree is what it is. So I've left my Christmas tree up. I took all the stuff off of it, all the ornaments, and we're going to put Halloween stuff on it. Maybe some bats, some hearts, some, I don't know, spiders, whatever we can find. We're going to dig through our Halloween decorations. So today we're going to Dollar Tree, Aldi, Target, possibly Michael's, but I'm thinking tomorrow I'm gonna go out to Michael's and Home Goods and we can just scope it out a little bit. Um, I'm not trying to go overboard for Halloween because let's face it, it's January, <laughs> which means I start budgeting in general, but I also start budgeting for Halloween decor hunting season. You know I do. And that might sound ridiculous, but well, first of all, we're adding a whole new gremlin to the spooky family or goblin <laughs> to the spooky family this year. So there's that. But second of all, I, I usually budget anyways for Halloween decor hunting season because that's when that's when we shop for not only our Halloween decor, but my home decor in general. Like just my like making my house a home kind of decor. And so I try to prepare for that. So anyways, first stop is Dollar Tree, which I feel like usually has a pretty decent selection. I hope we're not too late to the game. Oh my gosh, I knew it was gonna be crazy busy today because it is, uh, like all the kids have off school today and it's like 57 degrees out. I don't wanna park next to people in their, like why is the only parking spot available unless you want to park 3,000 miles away, is next to a bunch of people just sitting in their car. They don't want to park next to you. <laughs> Anyways, before we go into Dollar Tree, speaking of budgeting, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video, which is Money Optimist. And as I was kind of mentioning, this is my time of year to get serious about budgeting uh, for the future in general, but also for the upcoming Halloween hunting season, for the new baby gremlin, coming into the family for all the things. If you haven't heard of Money Optimist before, Money Optimist offers the tools and resources you need to take control of your finances. And the founder of Money Optimist, Kyle Jansen, has a brand new two hour masterclass that gives you the knowledge, tools, and resources you need to navigate the world of personal finance and chart your own path to financial independence. And the class itself provides you with a 30 day action plan with an automated budgeting planner, a debt repayment plan, and your own personalized financial independence calculations and retirement timeline. And for me, the whole combination of the class plus the tools to implement the actual plan is what I personally love so much and found so helpful. It's one thing to learn about personal finance, but the tools are what actually helped me apply the lessons 
to my own personal finance situation. So I loved the whole approach to this class with the resources and tools, loved everything about it. Anyways, the first 100 people to buy the masterclass using my link down in the description box will get 25% off the class and a free 30 minute coaching session. Definitely check out this masterclass. Once again, the link will be down in my description box. All right, here we are at, I gotta find my lens cap. We're here at Dollar Tree, we're going in. That was a total bust. What the heck, Mr. Skeleton? What the heck? There was, like, it was all picked over in there. I don't know if it was picked over, if they just didn't have a lot out. It looked picked over, though, because they had some stuff, but they had, like, one of each thing. I don't know what that was. They had, they had a couple of different garland heart looking things or wreath garland. <laughs> I don't know how to describe them. Wreath looking things. Um, and where are we? How do we get out of here? <laughs> and they had some wall decor, a little small wall decor that said be mine and love and like love and kisses and XOXO. And, <laughs> and I don't know, it was all kind of scattered out and really picked over and a couple of things like hearts on sticks that we could have worked with but i i don't know there wasn't really a lot i mean i guess i could just use what i got last year which is probably what i'll end up doing but i got a lot of red stuff last year and i was wanting to do lighter pink this year with the red like add some pink in there but they didn't have anything they did have some good valentine's day candy they had these warhead lollipops and if you know you know i love sour anything especially warheads oh my gosh anything sour i love just singeing my taste buds off with anything sour so i grabbed a couple things of candy but the line was so long it was basically to the back of the store and i wasn't waiting in that line just to get a couple of suckers or for candy but yeah it was kind of slim pickings i don't know when people are shopping for valentine's day stuff how did i sleep on this i don't i don't know what happened but here we are and it was slim pickings so next we're going to i wanted to go to aldi next and go to target last all these valentine's day stuff came out last week so i'm hoping they still have some stuff left over they could be slim pickings too and then we're gonna go over to target I, I just did, I guess last year when we went out Halloween decor hunting and I had continued to go to different stores, there was a lot out there, uh, but it's fine. If we can't find anything, Mr. Skeleton, wake up, sir. If we can't find anything, that's okay. We'll just work with what we got last year, reuse that stuff. I was just wanting to kind of add a couple of things, you know, but here we are. Slim pickings over here, Mr. Skeleton. So uh, we're gonna go to Aldi next, hope for the best, and go to Target. What's weird is at Dollar Tree, this girl walks in with her mom and she's like, Valentine's Day already? And I'm like, right? It was just the new year, but it's all picked over already. Like it's gone. We missed the boat at <laughs> Dollar Tree, or at least that Dollar Tree. All right, so we're almost to Aldi, and we're gonna go in and see what they got. I saw, I'm not gonna lie, when I looked online or like on my, um, this Facebook Aldi group I'm a part of. Oh, just go ahead and cross the, the street, people. I'm not trying to drive or anything. Oh, on the Facebook group, I'm not gonna lie, it looks like there's a bunch of gnomes, everybody. Valentine's gnomes. So I just wanted to mentally prepare you in case we see some. <laughs> if you gnome, you gnome. <laughs> I know, Mr. Skeleton, it wasn't funny, but anyways, we're going in to go look at some gnomes, everybody. I'm going into Aldi. We just left Aldi and they didn't have a whole lot left. Once again, a lot of people buying up the Valentine's Day stuff. We saw the gnomes, everybody. We saw them. We had a couple of different ones. One with a rose. One that was holding a little, I don't know, a little thing that said love. And I can't remember what the other one was. Was it a heart? I don't know. Anyways, they had a couple of gnomes, Mr. Skeleton. But they had a sign that said something about love. Love always wins. Love something like that. 
and they had oh they did have a tablecloth get this <laughs> a tablecloth with dogs and hearts all over it which i thought that that was probably the best thing in there i'm not gonna lie oh they had those uh little gel things that you put on windows or whatever the little gel sticky things um it said love and just little valentine's day ones and uh, i think that was it that's all they had it is mid-january and we are not finding any valentine's day whatsoever slim pickings in the valloween department mr skeleton who's already taking a nap anyways we're gonna run into target and see what they have mr skeleton they usually have a really cute selection here at target so we have hope target is our only hope all right we just left target and i'm starving to death i can't wait till i get home <laughs> i got some fig bars gluten-free fig bars all right so we saw some actual valentine's day stuff at target oh my gosh my stomach is growling got this nature's bakery mm. oh man mm -hmm. we saw some valentine's day stuff in there there was one thing that really stood out to me that i really liked it was this little neon heart thing had like a stack of hearts and it lit up and I was thinking that would be perfect in my tree to like stick in my tree because we did the neon ghost last year but <laughs> they wanted freaking $15 for it y'all for a little neat plastic neon thing and it was pretty small it was like a $5 situation I'm not lying so I was very offended by $15 so I didn't get it um and they had a couple other things. They had, oh, a gnome. Of course they had a gnome. And uh, some little birds. These little Valentine's birds. I can't remember. One of them, did it say love on it? Or am I thinking of the gnome at Aldi? I don't know, but it said something. The other one had these little cute little, or maybe it was all the same one. I don't know. But the one that I noticed had these cute little heart glasses on. It was so cute. I normally, I, I, I can't, I know people... I feel like the birds are kind of like the gnomes. You either love them or you hate them. Or, you, I mean, I guess some people may not think anything of them. I don't really think anything of them, but I know people love them. They really love them. But they also had a tiered tray kind of thing that hearts around it. They had a sign that said love. And they had a wreath kind of thing that had some felt hearts on it. And some pom-pom like a pom-pom situation <laughs> I don't really know what it was some wall hanging thing um, and what else do they have oh they had uh, some really cute little waffle makers they had a heart waffle maker a one that said I think XO all over it and then what was the last one it was something else Valentine's waffle no donut no bunt cake that's what it was it was a bunt cake maker and then they had donut pans and another heart looking pan thing so some baking stuff they had a bunch of sprinkles and stuff i didn't get they were just red white and pink sprinkles then we went to the dollar spot and or i'm sorry the bullseye playground why do i do that they had some cute little ceramic like a little cake a little cupcake and like little valentine i don't know bake like ceramic shaped bake baked goods i guess and then they had some little, like the gumball machines are kind of back, but they weren't gumball machines. They were more like cotton candy or popcorn machine looking things, uh, but they hold candy in there. And then I think they had a couple other things. It was pretty busy in the little dollar section. So I didn't get a lot because they honestly didn't have a lot left in this little dollar section or they didn't put out a lot in general. I don't know. So I kind of just got what I got and it wasn't super eventful. There was nothing in this area that I was like, oh my gosh, knock my socks off. They also had some little hand towels. They had one that said love is love. One that said together forever, I think with some lovebirds on it. And then some other little Valentine's towels. And then they had matching pillows to that. Like the little print on the pillow was similar to the towel. Target had the most Valentine's stuff we saw today. 
Um, but we're going to go back out. I'm looking forward to Home Goods now because I'm hoping that's where we're going to see the most stuff. I'm not sure. But yeah, anyways, I want to do a quick outfit of the day. I'm going to go inside and we'll do an outfit of the day. But today was kind of picked over. Okay, a quick outfit of the day before I unload the groceries. Um, I'll try to have everything linked down in the description box. If you click the show more in the description box and scroll all the way down, there's this new little thing that I've been trying out. It's, it's like a YouTube product search thing. Um, it's like a little section that says products and current video. If you click on that, then it should show the little drop down of everything I'm wearing. If I can't find the exact item, I'll try to find something similar. First of all, this was already one of my favorite dresses and I love that it's fully transformed into a maternity dress. Um, but this dress is from Disturbia and my leggings are from Target. My black turtleneck underneath is from Shein. This faux leather jacket I think is from Nasty Gal. My hat is from Forever 21, 421 years ago. <laughs> like I've had this forever, but I can usually find one similar. So again, check the little description box thing if you're looking for it. Uh, and then my necklaces are from Atel Love, the moth necklace and my snake necklace. And then my sword necklace is from Regal Rose, this little sword choker. Oh, and then my makeup. I can't remember what the palette is called. It's a ColourPop palette I'm wearing on my eyes today. Once again, I'll link it in the description. Uh, and my lipstick is, of course, the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Grim. And I think they discontinued it, everybody. And I'm heartbroken about it because I haven't been able to find it. Um, I think there's a decent dupe from Wet n Wild. I'll try to link it in the description. I don't know if it's a dupe yet. I got to try it, but I'm heartbroken. I have like three backups of this thing and then I'm done forever. But this was the shade Grim and... And I hope they bring it back one day. I don't know why they would discontinue of all the shades. They have a lavender shade, a turquoise shade that they're keeping, but they discontinued the grayish. I feel like this is like a good everyday wear. Like why would you do that? Anyways, this is my outfit of the day. Anyways, I'll see ya when I see ya. Hey everyone, it is another day. Halloween decor hunting with me. And good old Mr. Skeleton. Hold on, Mr. Skeleton. Here we go. It's raining today, so if you hear raindrops, that is why. It is my favorite kind of day, except it's raining a little harder than I like. I like more of a drizzle, but here we are. So I just left the dentist, so I figured we'd go out and look for some Halloween decor. We're gonna run to Home Goods, and we're gonna run to Michael's. But I'm thinking that's gonna be the only two places we go to because it's raining like crazy out here. I think I'm gonna run to Michael's first because they might have the most of what I need because I'm looking for some ornaments for my tree, y'all. Some heart ornaments and I think they have some. I may have stocked them online. I don't know that Home Goods is gonna have a lot for a tree, but I was thinking maybe I'd get like a little towel for the bathroom or something or for the kitchen or I don't know. Maybe a little Valentine's Day towel or something. I don't know. I don't even know what we're doing at this point. And I almost didn't come out here, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, after I left the dentist, I was almost like, you know what, it's rainy, it's gloomy, it's cold. I'm going home and snuggling with Neens, but here we are. We are making it happen still. We're gonna see what they got. That's what we're gonna do. Oh God. And it doesn't look busy today, probably because no one in the right mind wants to walk in the rain in 30 degree weather, but here we are. Is that a spot right there in front? It sure is, even though this person is parked all horribly. We're still a little short squatty little car, a little go-kart of a car can fit right in. <laughs> here we are. It's cold, y'all. It's cold. And I need a snack. I brought a little something. <laughs> I brought one of our fig bars because, you know, I had to. Oh, where's my hand sanitizer? That would be helpful. It says it's 38, but it feels colder. Oh, go. All right, Mr. Skeleton, what do we see, sir? What do we see? So hopefully you can hear me over this rain because it's really coming down. But we found what we were looking for at Michael's. They had some ornaments, some tree ornaments, just a bunch of different hearts. Had red and pink hearts that were shiny, red glittery hearts, pink glittery hearts, 
uh, and then I think some felt ornaments too in this little area. But they also had some like larger kind of heart decor. They also had some little things on sticks that you could put in trees, like little hearts on sticks. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I'll show it. So they had various hearts on sticks. Pink ones, red ones, multiple little ones. Hold on, Mr. Skeleton, we're stopping. Some heart garlands kind of stuff. Or was the other one a pom-pom garland or it was something? Uh, or maybe it's just like a bunch of like confetti looking stuff. I don't know. But they had some garland. And they had these heart wreath things. But they almost are like tinsel kind of heart wreath things. They also had them in like, it looked like a plant, but it wasn't a plant. It was like a potted heart <laughs> is what it was <laughs> for being technical. Uh, they had some wall decor and some tabletop decor. It's a various things like love and kisses, something, you know, all like love you forever. Who knows what else? Th those kind of things. All the I love yous and all that kind of stuff. They had a cute little love potion tabletop decor thing even had some some of the stuff looked a little bit like farmhouse uh, because it had like a little truck with hearts in the back and stuff like that and they had a little potted thing of it was like a pot filled with felt roses just that kind of stuff in this area they also had a bunch of bakeware the sprinkles silicone molds said i heart you or just molds in the shape of a heart they had, and then also some baking pans with hearts all that kind of bakeware stuff they had it was all marked down was it 30 percent or 40 percent i don't know it was marked down though oh my gosh it's raining so hard oh now it's kind of slowing down where i'm at and i think that's all we saw at michael's but whatever i'm missing i'll show here but i think that was the gist of it anyway so then we went over to the home goods tj maxx hybrid and they had a couple of really cute things the first thing that i really loved they had these Joanna Parker Valentine's mugs. Uh, I don't know, all the Joanna Parker stuff kind of has that, it's got the vintage vibe, but it's almost got this eerie vibe to it too. I don't know what it is about it. It's probably the closest thing I saw to Halloween there. <laughs> um, there's just something about it. It's not eerie at all. It's not scary at all, but it's like, there's just something to it that kind of has that edge to it with all the Joanna Parker pieces. That's why I love her stuff. They were so cute and it was like a set of two. And then, um, of course, they had a bunch of Ray Dunn, everybody. Uh, they had a cookie jar that said XOXO, another cookie jar that said uh, Happy Valentine's Day. But they also had some little tumblers, coffee tumbler things. One said, I love you a latte. <laughs> I can't remember what any of the other ones said, but uh, you know, all the sayings. And they had a Mickey and Minnie Valentine's bread thing. Bread, what am I thinking of? Loaf pan. That's what I'm thinking of. It was a loaf pan. And then they had a whole little baking area that had sprinkles and cookie cutters and silicone molds and, you know, those types of things. All those types of little bakeware things, muffin tins, a uh, little muffin, what do you call those? Muffin liners. <laughs> My brain is not working, y'all. Uh, but cupcake liners, that's what they are. Um, but anyways, that they had a bunch of stuff like that. Continuing on the Ray Dunn situation, they had a couple of mugs. One said, I think, like, love bug on it, and the other one said something else. And they did have a couple of Valentine's Day towels. They had some, you know, just with classic hearts, and they had one that said Happy Galentine's Day, and one that was, oh, it had, like, rainbow hearts all over it, and one that had, what was it? Did it have gnomes or koalas? It was koalas. So they had a bunch of cute little Valentine's towels. Nothing that really stood out to me, y'all. I passed on it. I, this is so unlike me, but it's not really unlike me because Halloween is the season that really tests me. It tests my budget, y'all. Like, if I did not have a budget for Halloween, I don't know if I'd be able to resist. Like, a lot of this stuff is just so good. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's bad you know it's so good it's bad <laughs> with some of the other holiday stuff i'm just like me you know what i mean like i'm just willing to pass on it and then i see halloween stuff and immediately i'm like why do i need it all you know what i mean anyways so uh just know the towels really stood out to me nothing that i just really pictured in my house at all they did have a tablecloth that was black and white so that could be i guess a halloween situation uh, and then they had uh, some decor. They had some of those creepy looking fairies. You know what I'm talking about? The fairies that they have for every season. 
Uh, they had a bunch of these, what is this? Stop on flashing red and proceed if clear or clear. Um, <clears throat> but they had uh, those fairy things. The fairies, these, these are the Valentine's Day fairies holding little hearts and I don't know. I guess that's that could also be considered Halloween because they, I, I'm just imagining those at nighttime <laughs> and they scare me. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you're going to wake up and one of those fairies is going to be sitting on your pillow or something <laughs> or staring at you in the face. <laughs> oh God. I feel like the next Chucky, like Chucky 22 needs to be with these fairies. <laughs> Lord. All right, hold on. I got to run into the post office really quick. What did we, we were talking about the creepy elves. Um, they had those. And then of course they had gnomes y'all. They had a bunch of gnomes, different variations of gnomes, and uh, the Valentine's gnomes are back, everybody. <sighs> I don't know if we'll ever stop seeing the gnomes, y'all. They are here to stay. There are a bunch of gnomes, also just some little tabletop decor pieces and little things like that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of the Valentine's Day stuff has been picked over, which I guess I shouldn't be surprised because we're like a month until valentine's day and people like to decorate but i feel like uh last year there was still quite a bit out at this point so um there's a lot that's picked over we got what we needed and i'm gonna show you what we got when we get home but yeah i'm excited to decorate our tree which will be a whole separate video we're gonna decorate our halloween tree together oh by the way listen to what happened at michael's <laughs> oh why am i this way so so we were at michael's and i bought some hooks some ornament hooks and um they were white which is perfect for my white tree so i had everything in my cart right and we, we get up to the you know the counter to check out grab the ornament hooks they were in this box and i kid you not the whole box falls apart and there are ornament hooks everywhere all over the cart all over the floor <laughs> i'm trying to get these hooks out of this cart okay and they are hooked like the whole cart is basically a grid and so they're hooked on all the little squares well first of all they're one big tangled up ball of hooks and so as i'm trying to unhook one thing another one is getting hooked around it was a total <laughs> nightmare everybody i'm so glad no one was behind me in line and all i could do is laugh at myself i just sat there and laughed because <laughs> i just didn't know what else to do so we got some goods everybody uh mostly pink stuff because i had a bunch of red stuff from last year but we got these cute little pink glittery ornaments and these cute little pink hearts on sticks bedazzled hearts on sticks and then these little bedazzled just hearts sand sticks i got these ornaments the red and pink shiny hearts so we're gonna mix this with some spooky things and come up with a whole pastel goth situation is what I'm thinking this year. So stay tuned for our Halloween tree decorating. So anyways, that is it for our Halloween decor hunting. We went out with good old Mr. Skeleton. We did the best we could. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, let me know, do you decorate for Valentine's Day? Do you decorate for Halloween? Do you do a spooky pastel thing? Or, you know, let me know what you do. Anyways, we got a whole Halloween tree to decorate. I'm so excited, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.